YouTube, it's your girl Tamara Denise back with another video. Today I have best friend here. Hey guys, hey. I'm so excited to be back in the kitchen with my best friend. You know I had to have her back. I told you I was going to. As promised, we said we were going to make a pasta for you. If you missed it, I'll insert a clip. You know what? I need your Cajun shrimp pasta. We should have made that. I know. Next video, guys. Yeah, my Cajun shrimp pasta. Really anything. Bomb. That I make this She bomb. can cook anything, <laughs> okay? So best friends, tell them what kind of pasta we're making. Cajun shrimp and crab bake. Bake. Okay guys, get your pen and paper ready because we're gonna tell you all the ingredients. What do we got, best friend? Italian seasoning, minced garlic, parsley flakes, Cajun seasoning, some paprika, obey. Need the obey. Woo! Garlic herb, garlic powder, onion powder, sea salt, some little Goya. I know if you don't know about that Goya. That Goya. If you don't know about that Goya. Got this Goya too right here. Mm-hmm. Which I know about that. <laughs> the Sisson. The Sisson. <laughs> This is so. This is so. All right, black pepper and some more minced onion. Yes. Let me take it over here. You're gonna need your gouda cheese, your parmesan cheese, your butter, half and half cream and milk. It's gonna get it real creamy for us. We got our black shrimp, of course. Where does crab meat say? Where is it from, best friend? Phillips. We have some Phillips lump crab meat. Yes, and it smells inside good. Inside of that pasta. Have some olive oil. Now, we got the jerk seasoning over here because I'm. that's how I'm gonna spike it. We gotta zoom into it's that, It's Cajun. Friend. Now, if you wanna make good jerk seasoning. Okay. If you wanna make good jerk chicken. If you wanna make good jerk chicken, this is what you buy. <laughs> All right, and we have our fresh garlic in this jar as well. And these are green onions. This is gonna be for color and flavor. And don't forget about the pasta. Pasta noodles. Yes. I am so hungry. We in there. Yes. Okay, so we're about to cook our meat on top of the stove. I have butter, minced garlic, and a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add some of our jerk seasoning in there for that Cajun effect. And of course, add our meat. Where'd you put the temperature on? Put it on medium. So I kind of wait for the butter to melt, on and then own. I throw yes, then I throw the meat on top of it. So and we bomb. don't want to cook this for too long. How many minutes? About. I would say about four minutes tops. Mm. Not even four because you don't want your shrimp to overcook. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to bake it. So you want to keep that in mind. It's kind of like a saute, a really light saute. While it's sauteing, you can add. A little bit more obey. And a little more of the garlic and herb. Oh, that 
just a little lot, but it'll be all right. And let's add some paprika. Yes, paprika. And more olive oil. And then stir. We're almost ready to take this off. We just want to wait till literally all the shrimp just are pink. Okay, so we set the meat to the side, and now we're gonna use the juice from this to make the sauce. Yes. We're gonna pour, in order to make the sauce, you need to put a little bit more garlic. Garlic is your best friend in this dish, I'm trying to tell you. Mm-hmm. Just a little more garlic. Not much. About four tablespoons of butter. Okay. Another little scoop of jerk. Because remember this is Cajun, spicy. So the jerk is optional. If you don't like spicy or don't want to make it Cajun, just don't add it. Yes. More olive oil. And your heavy whipping cream. Oh, this is not heavy whipping cream. This is half and half. Yep, half and half. Let's get the fire going. Oh, and we need our flour. Mm-hmm. So we forgot to add in our ingredients list of flour. So make sure you add flour to your ingredients list because that's important. Mm -hmm. That's what gives it that thick texture. What happened to our spoon? I need about, it's like four tablespoons or something like that. Four tablespoons. <clears throat> four tablespoons of flour. More milk. And might as well need it all. Might as well. Why not? Drip drip. And I have Gouda cheese. That I'm gonna add to my sauce. Gouda is very rich and sharp. So how many pieces, just two? I'm gonna put about two. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put my Parmesan. See, she used like half of that pack. About half of it, yeah. Yeah, half of it. And then we stir. Let everything mix in. I added some black pepper and some parsley and some obey and as you can see it's bubbling that means that it's almost there 
Look at that sauce. Mm-hmm. You ain't making your sauce homemade. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you don't do that jar stuff. You don't do that jar stuff. Miss some cheese in that corner. That gouda. So this takes about, mm, what, five to 10 minutes making the sauce? Yeah. And you probably can't tell in the camera, but it's like a yellow color. I feel like in the camera it looks more white. Right. But it's more Cajun-y in person. Cajun-y, is that a word? <laughs> Coming together. So you that Cajun, more flour. more flour. Yes. So she's adding more flour because it's a little on the watery side, Just but she added, it up a bit. yeah, you want to thicken it up. She added more Cajun sauce too, more Cajun seasoning to give it that color. All these spices coming together. On our shrimp and on our crab. Look at this. Let's get a close up. Mmm. That's gouda and parmesan mixed with all of our seasonings. And half and half. Butter. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. All right. Let's pour it. Clearly a cheat day for us. <laughs> <laughs> And we're gonna simply mix it all in together. Ooh. Mm hmm Ooh, we baby. Mix it all in. You may want to add a little bit of pepper. Where's our pepper? That is a great question. Oh, right, right there. Pepper and Cajun seasoning. Can't ever be too spicy for me. <laughs> and then I'm stir it again. Now this is the best part. We're almost there. Our oven is nice and hot. We're just gonna layer this as if it was mac and cheese. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get a bigger pan if you have one. We didn't have a bigger pan, so it may overflow. It's okay. But it's still gonna be. My best friend can cook, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna flatten this out. And I'm gonna put some cheese over top of it. Some shrimp on the top. Mm -hmm. 
Should we throw some of this on there? Next time, I'm cooking for you because this was all cooking by Miss Rachel. <laughs> Throw your obey. A little bit of paprika. And Wait, best friend, you didn't get none over here. Oh, where? The back end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we need to put a little bit of that. Did I do all that? Yeah. No, it's Cajun. Okay. okay. And she's oven ready. Yes. So don't forget, bake it for about 25 minutes. And it should be a little toasty on the top. Many, many minutes later. All right, guys. So it's all done. Doesn't it look bomb, best friend? It looks amazing. Amazing. So we're gonna take it out. So it's been in for about 30 minutes. And you gotta let it sit and let it cool off. Mmm. Hey guys, so that concludes this wonderful cooking video. I'm ready to dig in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and let us know what you think of the ingredients, the details. Let us know what more videos you wanna see. We will be cooking on this channel forever. And ever. <laughs> All right guys, see you next time. Bye guys. Bye. And then what should I say after that clip? So, so what you think we're making today, best friend? Okay. Cajun trappy crab Okay. Um. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!